five over here. All right, we're gonna hope I can put some makeup on my face. Maybe I should start with the hair. Maybe is K I M usually in the S A V in Savannah, but today I'm out of the A T L. Came here, believe it or not. Do y'all know I moved from Atlanta two years ago and I still come here to get my hair done? Yes, it's everybody can't touch the crown, right? So I still come here to get my hair with a trunk full of products. Hey, Tania, with a trunk full of products. So if you, hey, Diamonds one. So um, if you need something, you better let me know quick before I leave on Sunday. And don't reach out to me on Sunday. I said I leave on Sunday. So if you reach out to me on Sunday, you're too late. At the latest, okay? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Jay, baby. All right, so let's get into it because this is a very, very, very important topic, okay? This is, um, I'm going to discuss a phrase that I say all the time to my team mm -hmm. and I tell them all the time, you got to to speed up. You got to slow down to speed up. And today, um, someone who has heard me say that a lot said, Kim, what exactly does that mean? Like, how do I do that? And so let's get into it, guys. Because this is not only applicable to TLC or to business owners, this is in life in general. I see so many people, so many people reach out to me and they'll, no audio for you? Hold up. Can y'all hear me over here? One second. Can you hear me, Daphne? Vanessa? Hello? Can y'all hear me on, um, y'all can hear me on Instagram, right? Man, I still feel something on my contacts. I think one of my eyelashes are inverted. Okay. Okay. It's five people in here, over here, but Victoria is the only one saying something. Y'all, please. I don't want to spend 10 minutes going, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay, Kimberly says she can hear fine. Okay, that's all I need is one confirmation. Just one confirmation. All right, so we're going to go with it. So here's the deal, guys. Slowing down to speed up. I know so many people who reach out to me and they're like, Kim, I don't have time. I don't have this. I don't have that. And, and then I'll ask them, well, why not? Like, what are you doing? They're working two and three jobs. They volunteer on this board. They're the chairman of that. They're the chairman of this. And it's just like, whoa, sis, bro, how, how are you so busy and still broke? How are you busy being broke? Like, you got, you got to rectify that. Some of these activities, some of these extracurriculars are going to have to go. And we're going to have to replace some of these jobs. Two jobs, I'm convinced, are for two people, y'all. Most of y'all are working like a full-time and a part-time job. Let's say your full-time is 40, your part-time is 15. That's, what, 55 hours? For some of y'all, 60 hours, 65 hours maybe? When do you sleep? When do you eat? When do you play with your kids? When do you make sure they're not in the gang? Right? When do you make sure they're not doing all these things? So you got to stop being busy being broke. Okay, I'm not doing no better with the hair. Okay, how do I do this usually? So we got to stop that, right? But as it relates to business, when I say slow down to speed up, man, y'all, we are, if you're in my company, we all have the same products, the same comp plan, the same opportunity. So why is it that some people are thriving while others are not? Now you go along that process, errors that I see people make, is they going fast? <laughs> going nowhere. So when I say to speed up, here is what I mean. You can go, you some of y'all might have before the epidemic, the pandemic, some of y'all might have been fine going out there in them streets. I'm out here, feet on the streets. I'm handing out flyers. I'm but you're going, you're in a sea of people who have a whole bunch of other things going on. They ain't thinking about you. Now, you do what you have to do. And if you're going to go out there, you know, feed them on the streets and talk to people, that's cool because it'll get you practice, but don't get a big yield from that. A better thing to do would be to target your marketing. So instead of going out there, just feed on the streets, like, and, and, and I've always asked people this, drive to wherever they you have a car magnet on your car? No. What? What? Yeah, because people only shop online. Oh my gosh, you are so sadly mistaken. First of all, if somebody is right in front of your face, they would rather buy from you than go online, in case you don't know. 
So a car magnet is key. When I built my business, y'all, and I told my team this the other night, I remember I had a car magnet on my on my car from giddy up people will be riding down the street asking me to pull over i would be just going about my daily business do, 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 do. and before you know it somebody's like that's like pointing at the magnet and sometimes you forget it's on there so you just like what is my gas tank open what's going on here and then they're pointing at the magnet so you're like oh my gosh my car magnet pull over always in a, a safe place right parking lot um with a ga busy gas station where there's a lot of people around don't just pull over on the side of the car you know under the bridge of the highway at 11 p.m don't do that okay let's be smart about this but you pull over where people are and guys there were times that i it would just end up be a 20 dollars sale because i would have products right there in my back seat there were times when it was 300 dollars. like seriously literally somebody that you don't know could pull you over and be like oh wait you got the new traverse too wait well let me see and i remember once this girl was like do you have slimming um i was like right here bam she was like oh i mean i had everything so that was three hundred dollars just why okay somebody checking on my deals i'm gonna get back with you that was three hundred dollars just while I was going, what, to visit my grandmother or whatever? You're not even planning that sale. Leaving, I mean, I could tell you story after story. And some of those people I did videos with, they're on my old YouTube channels, right? The Lost Archives of Kim. Hold on. And so um, that's an easy way to slow down to speed up. Here you are. You going all around, walking up to people. Hey, hey, you heard about TLC? Hey, you heard about T? Hey, hey, do you know the T girl? And they like... I'm trying to figure out my life. And meanwhile, you have not done something as simple as put a car magnet on your car while you're driving to that place to talk. You love your car magnet, Natasha? Yeah, people don't get it, right? So, um, and, and when you have the car magnet, that is targeted marketing. There have been plenty of times when I went somewhere, come out, and there's somebody standing right by my magnet writing down the information, right? And then I'm like, hey, how you doing there? And they're like, oh, this you? Yeah, don't you see me right now? Because I always put my face on my car magnet. And then we start up a conversation. So that's a way to target things. When I say things like slow down and speed up, I mean, you should know who your best customers are. Some of y'all don't even stay in long enough to get any customers. See, so that's a problem right there. But you, once you start getting a rhythm, once you start getting a few people, I talked about this in the last broadcast. When I found out, we all, most of us found out about the 80-20 rule on, what was that um, show? Why did I get married? When Jill um, Scott's husband left her. And then he tried to get back with her, and he was like, you looking real good. And she was like, why don't you go back to your 20? Right? Everybody's like, that's right, girl. That's right, girl. Right? <laughs> His wife, for the long, young, uh, the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle, I'm just getting this out of my face y'all the 80 20 rule holds true for everything y'all okay so 80 percent of your business of your retail revenue is going to come from 20 percent of your customers 80 percent of your residual is going to come from 20 percent of your team members okay you got to know that so i do not treat everybody equally are we all equals yes should we all be treated treated equally heck no and if you say yes then you're probably broke you don't understand business. Why would I treat somebody who's plugged into the training, who's always on, you know, in the WhatsApp, participating, supporting the big team? Why would I treat them the same as somebody who just floats in and out? Hey, Kim, feels like being in business today. Now I need you to catch me up on everything since the last time I quit. Oh. That crap is funny. It ain't funny. Hey, girl, I'm back. <laughs> what you laughing for? <laughs> How about this? You can get your, you can get on the. And knock yourself out. Have a good day. Because you, you, you're you not going to get my precious time. I'm not. I am a sponsor. I'm not a personal assistant. So you should know who the people that are. Um, do you have a natural energy booster? Of course I do, darling. We'll talk, man. We'll talk. Your team that are performing the best. And you should give them your best treatment. Anybody who, who disagrees with that, they're a poor producer. Okay? So, no, no, you just treat everybody the same. Really? Let me see your team. Treat them all the same. Oh, you don't have a team? Mm, why am I not surprised? Mm, right? So, the 80-20 rule is super duper serious. It's, it's, it's so, it will change your life if you're on for the little sponge, y'all. Amazon, 
right? So the 80-20 rule will really change your life. For me, um, my best customers were, I started to pay attention. And let me give y'all a little tip that I learned from Russell Brunson. Man, it's a genius. Y'all don't study business. That's the other problem. Study business, business systems, business to speed up by telling you what to pay attention to so one of the things i learned from Rus russell Brunson is that you were your next customer sounds crazy your last customer is more than the last customer. see people have a buying rhythm okay so the person that bought from you last week believe it or not they're more prone to buy from you next week than a person who's never bought from you before but you think it's the person who's never bought from you before so here just following up you ready yet okay i'll be back in 30 days hey just following up you ready to buy yet okay i'll be back in 30 days hey just following up and they're like leave me alone right but the person who just bought from you, probably gonna be like you know, have a sale and you're like you know you just bought this for full price now we have would you want that you their money they're gonna buy again there have been studies funnels for companies have like you know different pages so we've all been in a in funnel online you click it. hey by the way it compliments that and you're like okay and so Russell Brunson was no supplement, right? And then on page two, he started noticing that the companies that were really killing it in the funnel game, they would be like, hey, you bought one of this. Do you want three more? You can get three more for 30% off. And then he, he at first he was like, that doesn't make any sense. They just bought okay in the end. Okay, so Facebook is caught up now. So yeah, the companies that were like, hey, you just bought one of those. Would you like 50,000 more units? People were like, yeah, this is why on those infomercials that you see, right? They'd be like, not only are you going to get two mega super duper sharpeners, not only are you going to get one, but order right now and we're going to give you two, right? And you're like, man, I never knew I needed, uh, I don't know, two whatever. It could be the strangest thing. You notice how they always say, buy right now and we'll get you two. And you be thinking, well, I can give one to my mama. That's perfect. I could give one to my granny. That's perfect. And you 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 fall for that. Your last customer is more than likely your next best customer. It is easier to keep a customer <laughs> than it is to acquire. It's easier to keep an existing customer than it is to acquire a new one. So the 80-20 rule is really key. When I say slow down to speed up, I mean know what your customers buy. Know what your know what they want. I know who my Tuchui customers are. I know who, I know my girl, the nurse up in New York. I know she loves her Gano and her Chaga. I know who my lemon people are, who Team Raspberry is. Do you? Huh? No? I know who, who the OG tea people are, the brew tea gang. I know who these people are. Do you? No. Okay. So you need to know that because now you can target your deals and while somebody else is just posting going, I hope they buy, I hope they buy, I hope they buy, I hope they buy, I hope they buy. You are going directly to the inbox of that person. Hey, so-and-so, I know you bought to Chewy. Oh, about a month ago, time for you to re-up again. How about within the next few minutes, it's 50% off. Do you know how much more likely that person is to buy than, than anybody on your Facebook friends list or your Instagram profile that you're going, I hope they buy, I hope they buy, I hope they buy, I hope they buy. Slow your but down to speed up okay next thing team members i already told you you should not treat all your team members the same but it's kind of sort of like the same concept like i said with 80 20 rule what some of y'all do is y'all so busy trying to be a sponsor monster trying to recruit 50 million people do we need a lot of people ah yes and no um because the proof the fact of the matter is 80 20 rule only 20 percent of people are really going to be in it to win it right however we don't need everybody Okay, why don't you just nurture and help develop the people you got before you start going and getting all these new people? Message me back if you have an action. I surely will, darling. So here's the deal. Y'all out here recruiting people. Meanwhile, you haven't launched them. You haven't talked to them. You haven't done the purple book with them. You don't know what their goals are. You don't know anything about them. 
You haven't done, you haven't even reached out to these people, but you are trying to go get the next person. So you have this high attrition rate. You getting reps, you signing people up, but they only good for 30 days. How many people are successful in 30 days? Not many. It takes a little bit of time for people to find their flow, right? For them to learn the stuff that they need to know to have success in the business. So if you're not talking to these people, <clears throat> if you're not helping them, if you're not developing, why in the, why in the tarnation is your butt in somebody else's inbox? Hey, you keep your options open? Deal, work with what you got, baby. Work with what you got. You leaving these people, you just signing people up and then walking them to the cliff and letting them just, you know, fall into the sea down below. Like, thanks for stopping by. You know, <laughs> got a new recruit posting up all these banners. Slow down to speed up. Also, you got to put some systems in place for your business. Wherever some of y'all are so mad at your team things because these things present a problem to them instead of being mad be grateful for the feedback i'm grateful for the feedback when people say hey um i would love it if this or i would love it if that now it would it be great if i have some people step up and also want to serve the big team and say hey can i recognize that this is a problem for the team i um think we need to fix it and here's my proposed solution would that be awesome absolutely but if they don't instead of resenting your teammates or your customers for that fact, for giving you a suggestion about how they can, um, how you can better do business with them, implement. So I have a time, y'all, where I, I, at nighttime, there's certain periods of time when I think about the processes and the procedures and the systems in my business. And I look into tools and, and courses and books and, and mentors and people that are specialists in those areas to help me eradicate that problem. Do you do that? Right? I just told y'all about the deals that I snatched up. The buzzer runs out very quickly on those deals. So my customers who miss the deals and they don't need to pay me, they need a way to pay me, right? So I went to my bank and I got, I got a bank merchant account. I got an invoicing system. Things of that, like, this is a real business, y'all. Don't get it twisted. Just because I quack jokes and, 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 and um, you know, wear t-shirts most of the time, mostly uh, in my pajamas until 2 p.m., don't, don't get this thing twisted. The unseen is always greater than the seen. What you see is, I guess, in your mind, you see me goofing off, but baby, sit up here. <laughs> One day y'all gonna look up and be like, dang, where Kim get all that from? Mm, I told you the whole way along, but you didn't pay attention because to you, it didn't look like I was doing what I was doing. That's cool with me. That's cool with me. But don't say I didn't tell you. Likewise, cutting videos. Some people are like, ah, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're always saying you don't know stuff. Figure it out. I have a rhythm to cut my videos. During the day when the sunlight, because even though I have ring lights, I really do like. Oh, and I should have cut this one off. Because it's kind of dark on this side. Oh, the battery went out. That's what happened. But even though I have a ring light, I prefer the sunlight. The sunlight is always best. It's going to be the most flattering to you. So I prefer sunlight. So Facebook Lives, I, I usually like to cut um, in the day. But voiceover videos, y'all know my voiceover videos where I'm not on camera because I'm looking real haggardy. Um, those are the ones that I, I do um, because I'm not on camera. So I'm just recording my phone screen. Some of y'all up here planning, listening to lectures and stuff during the day when you should be connecting with people. Now at night, you want to prospect. Ain't nobody awake. You on Facebook looking for the green button to see who's still awake. <laughs> like if that's your job, if, if your job has you on a schedule like that to where that's how you have to do it, then fine. But for the majority of y'all, that's not the case. It's just very poor planning on your part. So when I say slow down to speed up, that's what I mean. I mean, don't be busy being broke. I mean, actually slow down. Think about your business. See where the gaps are. See where the holes are and fill them. Work with what you already have. Analyze and look at the numbers. If your back office doesn't have it, man, our back office is so fire. The fact that it's free is really mind boggling to me. But you can extrapolate all that information out of the back office. Don't get in my inbox and ask me how to do it. Go to the Googler. Oh, them eyes look better, though. Mm. 
But go to the Google and learn how to export a, a CSV file or an Excel file or whatever the case may be. Do what you got to do. Learn that way. But once you extrapolate that information out of the back office and you can sort and sift and filter and have all types of good old funky times with that data from your customers, from your team members in Excel, there's no excuse for you really not to up your game very, very quickly, y'all. These are the things you... <sighs> Network marketing is an amazing vehicle, but the people suck. I'm just, I'm just going to be honest with you because they don't, they think it's one of those things. They don't take it seriously. And that's it. That's always going to be the problem. The people. And the first person that you've got to um, deal with, that you've got to fix, is you. How are you thinking about your opportunity? How are you thinking about your business? How are you um, helping the most people, customers and consultants alike, to get what they want so that you, in turn, can get what you want? That's the, the question. And the better you get at answering that question and, and implementing the answer, the more your income is going to go up. Okay, this is the problem. The dang going to blush. Mm, I got to make this funny face. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I make this funny face to find, find the rolls of my cheeks. Mm, I'm tired a little bit. I think I put too much on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I do that. That. Do I look like Betty Boop? Do I look crazy? I don't know. Y'all know I'm not a makeup girl, okay? I'm just trying to put something that look a little alive. Let me see. Is that better? I know I'll be putting on makeup at the end of the day when it's time to wash it off. <laughs> That's the beauty, y'all, of having your own business. Okay, I'm putting it everywhere. And I, my dang old little 15-year-old, how old London is? My cousin over there could come in here and beat my face better than I can. But I'm going to keep working at it. Well, I'm 41 this year. Maybe by the time I'm 45, I don't know how to do makeup. Maybe not. But anywho, guys, slowing down the speed up is, is a concept that a lot of people, um, they don't appreciate it. They've never been taught it. They don't know how to do it. When I say slow down the speed up, I also mean do you write your affirmations? Do you... Oh, marinate do you dream build do you marinate on your goals your dreams your desires do you do that supernatural spiritual work like you try to do that hard behind physical work huh guys it's amazing to me on the days when i listen to jesus de jama jesus calling in spanish and i just listen to it hey randy randy okay you were just about to call me you still can but um now nah, everybody can't call me uh-uh uh-uh don't let me get in my inbox but on the days when, um, if you just wake up, oh, got a prospect, oh, got a follow up, oh, you don't get it. You need to slow your butt down to speed up. On the days I listen to my girl, Jesus Calling, in Espanol, her voice is so soothing in the words. And I told y'all, I listen to it in Spanish on purpose because it makes me marinate. On, I have to be more intentional when listening in Spanish because I have to translate in my mind. And just doing that, just writing out my goals every day, I haven't done it for today yet, just being consistent on that spiritual work, tapping into personal development, reading about people who have successes. Who is this? I appreciate it. It has helped me since I did it. Awesome, Tania. Awesome. I'm so proud of you, girly. But just those things, guys, and it takes a lot. That's why you have to be patient in the process. You can't rush this thing, man, especially if you haven't put in the work prior to becoming a part of this company. Some of y'all joining this company and then one, two, three, four, five, six months, you're having success that I did not have when I was six months in. But you don't appreciate it because you're looking at somebody who's been in the company six and ten years and comparing yourself to them. Why do you just love torture? Huh? Huh? Do you just love to torture yourself? Why would you do that? These people don't put in the work. They they have a client base that if they say, hey, y'all, today we selling manure. Everybody be like, okay, tell me what to do. <laughs> That's just the way it is because they built their business on the strength of their reputation, on their influence. If you have not done that, if you have not added value to the marketplace, please, please, please don't come in and think that you can do exactly what you see them doing. And get exactly their same results. No, you got to put that work in, baby. You got to do something called priming the pump. Okay, Zig Zilla talks. Zig Zilla, um used to talk about if y'all haven't heard that, um, him and then Art Williams. We said, you know, what it, what was what what did Art Williams say? Just do it. 
You up here reading about this stuff, complaining about this stuff, just do it. Just do And that's it. You got to. I'm going to do another Facebook Live later on called What Came First? The Confidence of the Customers. Because it's really like what came first, the chicken or the egg. A lot of y'all, you know, you think that having a bunch of customers will make you confident. But you don't understand that you won't get, you really won't get the customers that you desire until you are confident. It's just like, well, how am I going to get this job if I need work experience? But y'all won't give me, y'all won't hire me so I'll never have experience. Yeah, I know. All of these things hold true so many times. Sometimes you got to get it. You got to get it however you can get it until you got it. <laughs> and, and, and it's funny because when you hear people saying these things, and I remember being in some of y'all's place where nothing was happening for me, right? Nothing. I'm cutting videos. People think I'm rich. I'm, I'm doing everything. I'm buying inventory. It sits there for forever. Then the minute I open the tea to use it for me, somebody calls me and says, you got any tea? And I'm like, mm, this bag been sitting here for three months. And ain't nobody calling. Then the minute I open, now I don't have no tea. I've been where y'all are. I so Man, there were so many times I wanted to quit. So, But then I was like, quit and do what, Kim? Go right back to the same thing that drove you here in the first place? <laughs> Randy, you so silly. You just like me. You rub it in. He said, ha ha, I'm special and you're not. I do that same thing. Like when people say, Kim, that's only for you. I don't be like, thank you very much. In a humble way, I be like, nani, nani, boo, boo. <laughs> to everybody else she wasn't talking to. <laughs> not for real, though. I'm really, really not thinking that. I just I just like to have fun. But um, do, does my face look different? Do I look any better? Or do I look exactly the same? I don't know. Hmm? 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 Let me see. Do I? Let me. Can y'all see? Hold on. What y'all think? Any better? Mm, am I glowing? Mm, am I glowing? Am I glowing any better? But anyway, guys. So, um, that's what I mean by slowing down and speed up. You have to think about what you're doing more than you do what you're doing. Slowing down to speed up for me, like I said, to, I, I just got a brand new course. I'm so excited about it. I watched this young lady's YouTube channel grow tremendously exponentially i've seen the testimonials from people that i really respect who took her course and they're singing her praises and i'm going to um i paid good money for this course what did i buy it with my tlc commissions and guess what it's a tax write-off because i have a business right so no problem and i'm going to share the information with the directors on my team thank you to nia I'm going to share the information with the directors in the director's lounge because they put in the work to, to uh, be director and I want to gift them with something. But I'm not going to gift them. I'm not to the point here where I can do the rollies. I like that, though. I'm not to the point here where I can do some really high-end material gift. So what I'm going to do is I'm the investment I made into me, I'm going to um, pass it on through to them so that they can pass the information on to the team members who deserve it. And we all can profit from this woman's wisdom and her expertise. But that's one of the things that I do. I, you never know. Ever, as much as I've been doing YouTube videos, my channel, if y'all have been to my channel, I still don't have channel art on there. I still don't have a lot of stuff that even the most basic of YouTubers have. I, did, I have not slowed down in that aspect to speed up with regards to, you know, my YouTube presence. However, I just monetize my channel. Yes, I just monetize my channel and so things will be changing up in here because I want to get all of the coins. Slowing down to speed up means things like I found out, um, I don't, when I hear people say stuff, I don't just be like, oh, that's nice. No, I'm like, oh, that's nice. Hold up. Let me see how she did that. And I heard this girl mention one time about being an Amazon affiliate. So here I am selling the tea. But along with selling the tea, there's a lot of other things that people will ask me about. Kim, what weights are those? Kim, what gloves are those? Kim, what waist trainer is that? Kim, what? All this stuff that you saw here, I bought on Amazon. The primer. Kim, what? What? I, we don't sell makeup in my company. However... Because I was slowing down to speed up, I became an Amazon affiliate. I found out, I researched how to become an Amazon affiliate. I'm now an Amazon affiliate. So when I stand on my vibration machine, and people say, what vibration machine is that? I share the link with them, letting them know it's my Amazon affiliate link. And even though I'm not an employee of Amazon or the manufacturer of that product, I still get a cut when they make that sale. Why? Because I took the time to slow down in my business so that I could speed up my income so that I can monetize everything. Everything. 
but still keeping it in that same lane. See, that's what multiple streams of income about. It's not about being in TLC and doing taxes and selling lashes and selling debts and selling that and drop shipping and I do. No, that's not multiple streams of income. That's multiple streams of frustration. When you have multiple streams of income, a lot of times the smart way to do it until you really become like a mogul, like a, 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 a um, what's her name, Oprah, or, a, um, you know, one of those big people, until you become of that stature where you can now outsource to managers and directors and people of that nature, hey, you run this division of my blah, blah, blah portfolio, you run that division, until you get there, you need to keep everything kind of sort of in one stream, otherwise you look like a crazy person. When you go to tell somebody, hey, you want to buy the tea? And they're like, no, I'm good. And you're like, well, do you want to buy a couch? Just asking because I sell couches too. <laughs> Girl, I got whatever you need. I got you. Guess what? That's not attractive to most people that are serious. A lot of people like a specialist. They want to know that you're in it to win it, that you're in this thing, that when they come to you for this thing, you know what you're talking be about because you're 100% devoted to this thing thing slowing your butt down to speed up but some of y'all can't even slow down in the business without completely matching the brakes and going on to something new that's the real problem you got an attention span issue okay you got an attention span issue you will never get to where you are when you're constantly quitting but Kim, there are times when people should quit absolutely there are i quit my first company but we're not talking about that's very very few people legitimately quit most people just quit when they get tired no stamina no stamina to win no stamina no, no patience with the process most people just quit when they get fed up not realizing that whatever it is you're going through that is a clue to the success that you say you desire. Whatever issue, it, with all that stuff, it's going to make for a great story later. Don't be mad. It's going to be a great story for you to tell your team. It's going to be a great story for you to tell your customers. Something, how many times has my account been shut down for infractions and different things that the company has grown? Each time, one of my team members got her account shut down. What did she do? Some of y'all quit when your account gets shut down. What did she do? She fixed the problem. Her account was, was made whole and she's back to making money. That's what I'm talking about. And that's why I, I'm so hard on my team about the personal development and the spiritual stuff. If you have a problem, I'm not trying to fix your problem. I'm like, yay, this is going to be a great story. <laughs> Sometimes they hate me for that. But it's really the truth. I know what I'm talking about. Um, what did Melody say? You have always been so generous with your knowledge, and I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate you for saying that, Melody, because some people act, act out here in these streets and these internet streets be acting like I need to be their own personal. Like, they be acting like they puff daddy, and this is the 2020 version of making a band. Hey, Kim, got a question for you. And I'm like, uh -huh. who is you in my inbox acting like I work for you for free? Right? This is my community service right here. See, Melody gets it, y'all. Come on, on Facebook Live, get, soak up the knowledge. Be appreciative and move in right along, right? Right? Don't get in my inbox and say, I thought you said you like to help people. I do. And right now, I'm going to help my peace of mind by blocking you because you're crazy. Because you're crazy. <laughs> help on this girl is laughing at me. And Tania, Tania, you know I don't play that. I'm real picky about my time. Real picky about my time. But I appreciate you. <laughs> No, I'm serious. I appreciate you. But anyway, guys, I have get to, got to get to my hairdresser. She is all the way on the other side of town. Do, is there still traffic in Atlanta? I don't know. It's been so long since I've been. Not. I might do a video in the car and talk to y'all again. I'm in Atlanta. Today is what? What's today, y'all? Friday? Yeah. Yeah, get those nuggets and leave. Yes, pick up your goal and leave and implement. I'm going to tell y'all one last thing before I leave. So, like... One thing, I'm not going to lie, this this bothers me. But it doesn't bother me to like, oh, I'm paralyzed and not able to do anything. But I, I do get criticized because a lot of times people will be like, will you coach me? Will you coach me? And I don't like the word coach, not because of anything, but for the fact that a lot of people use it wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, Coach Kim. And I'm like, I don't even know who you are. Like, how, how could I be your coach? <laughs> but I guess it's like coaching your head or whatever. And that's super duper cool. So, but I see a lot of people 
also calling themselves a coach and they ain't did nothing. I'm like, girl, you, you TLC member since what? July. And, and it's cool. You should big up yourself, but it gets kind of out of hand. However, sometimes when I go in TLC groups and I might share my success, a lot of times in the uh, comments, people be like, oh, can you coach me? Can you coach me? I do not take on, I don't, I don't, I don't be like, I'm the ish. I'm the ish. I'm the ish. No, that's not what it is at all. Don't be flattered by people like that, y'all. Because oftentimes, when, if, if they are saying that because they saw your check or they saw, uh, you know, that you won something, you were on a leaderboard, that's, that's a temporary emotion they're feeling. They really don't want to be coached by you. They really just want you to give them the quick fix to how you got that one result that they see. Because see, the majority of people that ask me, um, oh, that's Natasha. Hey, Natasha. <laughs> but the majority of people that say stuff like, Kim, will you coach me? I only see them on my success posts. See, I don't see them on these Facebook lives where I'm telling you the stuff that leads up to the success. Isn't that interesting? I don't see them on my page regularly saying, hey, I see you said that you do this. How do you do that? Do you mind linking me to the, the course that you mentioned? Do you mind? Link I don't see them asking them down and dirty questions that show me that they really want to be trained or coached. That's why I don't I don't let it get to my head. I don't get flattered because I know it's not, they don't really want to be coached. They want to be shortcutted. That's what they want. And what's going on, Brandon? What Tania said, hey, Kim, heads to, heads, heads to training. Thanks for always the wisdom and the knowledge. I appreciate you too, girly. I still, somebody still commented on your interview with me because, you know, I finally like downloaded it from Instagram and put it up on YouTube. I think it hit this week sometime but somebody commented i met <laughs> i met bye <laughs> gotta slow down <laughs> bye girly i'm i'm pretty much done too i gotta go get this this wig split but yeah so i never get flattered by those people because i know they really don't want what i have to give they just want the result that they see right now it's a fleeting emotion if i reached out to every single one of those people and said hey i saw you wanted you need some help yeah i can help you i guarantee you within 48 hours the majority 80 20 rule 80 percent of them would not even return my phone call i guarantee you how do i know because it plays out all the time people are joining my team i'll call them and be like hey i see you joined my team while i was sleeping in the middle of the night where did you come from? And they'd be like, oh my gosh, I found you on YouTube. I didn't think you would call. And I'd be like, yeah, well, I do call. So, girl, let's get to the money. I've been getting to the money. Everybody, man. Eh, right? So, let's get to this money, girl. What's your, what's your, see, now we get into the nitty gritty. Now it ain't so fun. Oh, I thought you were the fun, big eyed girl to crack jokes on YouTube. But now I'm talking to you about your goals. And I'm going to hear from them people again. They don't like that kill, right? They don't like that kill. They want the hee hee ha ha kill, right? Mm. But when it comes time to get that, see, I hee hee and ha ha with you the best when my money right. I have the most fun when my money right, right? My laugh is louder when my money right. Uh, up, uh, up to then, what we laughing about? Huh? Anyway, guys, let me go to my hairdresser before she kill me. Typos all over the place. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hopefully, this helped you um, think about some things. You need to slow down, regardless of whether you have a business or not. Even some of y'all in your life. Some people missed the $1,200 stimulus because they didn't do their taxes last year. Right? They don't do their taxes any year. Last year, they didn't think nothing of it. I always do my taxes late. <laughs> y'all know? Y'all ever notice how when people say dumb stuff they think is funny hmm i lost the weight and gained it right back kill <laughs> girl what's funny what's funny about it huh? Huh? huh they ain't going uh pandemic hit uh, all this homeschooling i ain't no teacher so my child don't fail <laughs> This is broke. Well, that ain't funny. You should have been learned. You should have learned how to become a teacher or got a name or something. That ain't funny. 
But some of y'all missed out on the stimulus because you didn't do your taxes because you never do your taxes. You had no way of knowing that a major pandemic was on the rise, right? And that they were going to have these $1,200 stimulus, but you sitting there looking like Bobo the Fool because you didn't get the money that you needed. Y'all, that's what I mean. Slow down the speed up. Stuff that you used to do that you know as an adult you should not be doing, let's start just one thing at a time. And don't multitask. Multitasking is the devil. Sit your butt down and focus on one dang on thing until you get it done. Then go to the next. It's a very simple concept, okay? And, that, and then you'll start to gain momentum. And that feeling of accomplishing things, getting things done, it's going to give you confidence like you wouldn't believe. It's going to make you feel more like an adult. It's going to make you feel more in control. You're going to get more definite. You're going to get more purposeful in one area, in certain areas of your life. And then it's going to bleed over to other areas of your life. And now you're going to see a total life change regardless of whether you're in TLC or not. You're going to see a total life change in your life. And the lives of your loved ones. Because this time, they're they going to notice it and they're going to want it too. All right? And then you're going to be able to put them on game. So, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. I really am going out. For real, for real. All right. Randy, if you still need me, call me. But only Randy. Bye. <laughs>